Today on Earth Focus, the fossil fuel connection, Dr. Theo Colburn on the health effects of drilling for gas and oil. Coming up on Earth Focus. We've got to make the fossil fuel connection that when you poke a hole in the ground to get out coal, oil, or natural gas, and especially natural gas, because of the tremendous boom that has taken place with that particular fossil fuel, when that gas comes up out of the ground, it's not all methane. You're lucky if you get 82%. 82%. The rest of it is a lot of other short chain, hydrocarbons, and benzene ring-like compounds. And that has to be blown off, it has to go somewhere. And that just keeps blowing into the air. And I'm talking, you know, tons per day coming out of that particular hole. And then a week later, you drill another hole on a well pad. The pad gets a little bigger. Um, right now, up on the Rhone Plateau in Colorado, I understand they have practically a hundred wells on one major, major pad. And it doesn't matter if it's vertical, just going down straight, or whether you do horizontal drilling so that you can blast out a mile out from where you are drilling and jiggle the ground underneath, those gases are still going to come up. No one is monitoring these at all. If people talk about what they're measuring, they measure, they talk about benzene. So they're trying to set a standard for benzene based on its probability of causing cancer. So they can get a handle on benzene and they have a, a level, a maximum allowable level that can be in the water and in the air. But other than that, there's nothing. Toluene also comes up with the benzene and it's always there in much higher concentrations than the benzene. We found some evidence that it could be a possible carcinogen. But toluene goes right for the brain, the developing brain. It goes to the immune system. And whenever I get a phone call from people living in the areas where they're drilling for natural gas, we're getting calls from South Africa all over the world. They say, well, when they start drilling in a day or two, we begin to sneeze, we cough, we get sore throats, we get fatigue, we." Uh, get confused, uh, we throw up, we get bloody noses, and they go through these symptoms of sensitivity. You know, they become sensitized. These are sensitizers as well to these chemicals. And then if you start working with the, uh, the laborers, these men who call me and talk to me, they reach the point where they reach what is called peripheral neuropathy, where they start with tinglings in their fingers and their toes, and the next thing you know, they begin to get pain and they can't stop it. That's irreversible. I mean, they're way beyond the stage where they can be helped. And by that time, they're usually so confused, have such a poor memory that they'll never be able to hold down a job again. Now, these are the kind of chemicals that are getting out there that the government has ignored completely. And we have to get these words, toluene, out there now. You buy gasoline, your gasoline is going to have toluene in it, more toluene in it than it does benzene. So when you're filling your gas tank, you could be getting exposed to toluene. Or if you live in a gas field, of course, you could be exposed to it. And also, then, when you burn it in your engine, the B-texes form what are called the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, the ones that are so dangerous at parts per billion and parts per trillion at extremely low concentrations can affect the development of the baby. Preterm babies, babies born uh, with low birth weight, and also smaller skull circumferences. So there are times when I just wish, how can we get this all together and package it and make people understand? And I call it the fossil fuel connection. We want people to know, make this link. But I don't know whether we're going to be able to really, really speed this up some way. I don't know.
U.S. airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.